We're at the scene of the younger house who has recently moved into an all-white neighborhood. This should be interesting. Come here for a minute, Walter, please. Be right there, Mama. Let me finish unpacking this bag real quick. What you need, Mama? You have no idea how proud I am of you. You finally grew up. What you mean? I've been a man. If you call that a man, you might as well call Travis a man. Well, I wouldn't be surprised. Like father, like son. Well, if that's the case, then why aren't you like dad? But Nate the Younger, you stop this nonsense right now before you catch my left hand. Yeah, you better listen, little girl. Oh, whatever. At least I'm gonna make it in life and know how to handle my money. Here we go again with the money. You know I don't like all this negativity when I try to make my dreams come true. In the meantime, you talk about yours but take no action. You need a real man in your life. See, that's the thing about this world. You think you need a man to survive. I've been happy without a man and I will continue to be able to happy without you foolish men. That's enough, you two. You guys are grown adults but fight like children. At your age for once. She came at me, mama. Well, be the bigger person like you already were today. Oh, of course, it's always me. Why can't anyone agree with me but just for once? I hate this family. I will not have you saying such things in my house. If you don't agree, then leave. That's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to Africa with Asinai. Yeah. Uh, hello. Hello. What do you want? Well, I was just stopping by to see how the color family is doing in our neighborhood. Your neighborhood? Last I checked, I own this house, so technically it's our neighborhood also. Would you like to test that, sir? Let's see how our fellow neighbors see about that. Is that a threat? Oh no, it's a promise. You better walk away. You have no clue who you're messing with. Yeah, we'll see about that. Ruth, you won't believe what just happened. Well, actually you might, considering our circumstances. What is it, honey? That SOB lender came up to me and tried saying, starting some trouble. It's only our first day here and we already got them on our backs. Oh boy, I was afraid of this. Just ignore them, honey. That's all we can do. Ignore them? They threaten us, baby. And I'm not just gonna let them push us around. Okay, baby, just be careful, please. I don't want your name in the next paper. Always. I'm gonna go to the green hat for a while. I'll see you guys once I get home. I won't be gone for long. Now. What's up, brother? How you been? Actually, my day's been interesting, if you'd like to know. Let's hear it. Well, me and Benita got into an argument, and... What's new? You guys are <laughs> like children, I swear to God. <laughs> uh... uh... I know, man. But it's all her. But listen to this. Did I ever tell you that this white man tried to come in my apartment and buy us out of moving into that neighborhood? What in the hell? They actually did that? You bet. These white folks would do anything to keep their neighborhoods clean. But that's besides the point. He tried to step to me today. Should have knocked him slick out. You already know if you did that, the whole neighborhood would be on you. He'd be dead in a second. T you won't believe who's here, Bobo. What's up? Who is it? I've spotted me a Willie Harris. By golly, it's him. Let's teach this old dog a few new tricks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That teacher's yeah. stealing money. This hey, is what you're doing. Steal our money. This will be the last time you're finessing your bike. 